Okay, I looked all over the internet trying to find a way to get these four wire fans to work. Uh, after burning one of them up, I did find something that gave me some idea of how to do it. Okay, here I've got one that I bought earlier. The heat sink's not in it right now. But uh, I bought it, it had the four wires. Okay, I managed to burn up the little board. There's a little circuit board right in there, and I burned it up because I hooked everything up wrong. Uh, so I got another one, and I tried to figure out how to make this work. Well, I found out by using a 9 volt battery that the black is negative and the yellow is positive. These two others are for controlling speed with a pulse width modulator or something like that. But I'm not concerned about that. I just wanted the silly thing to run. So, these are the two wires you need. Isolate these two others. But when I went to hook the silly thing up for my little LEDs, like right there, see you got my fancy little LED. Okay, uh, and I was using a voltage controller uh, to start it. The voltage controller does not put out a flat sine wave. It's pulsing. Uh, it does have an output capacitor on it, but it didn't seem to make any difference. So what I did is I put a 470 microfarad 25 volt electrolytic capacitor on the output and it actually made this thing work. And I'll show you how it works. Okay, the light comes on there, you see the little jerk in the fan, the little jerk in the fan, and off she goes. Works that way every time. Can't use a smaller cap. I tried using smaller caps. I think it went to 220 and I still couldn't get it to work. So I had to use 470. Anyway, that's how I managed to make the four wire work with a voltage controller.